In this video, we're going to look at installing the G300 Guardian Series thermal cameras. We'll look at a couple different network configurations also. Let's go ahead and open up a 9mm G300. Here's the quick start guide. And basically the things we're going to be doing in this video are these couple pages on how do you install the G300. So let's open up the box here. And here's the G300. Here's the front and with a little description and the Germanian cover. If we look on the bottom, there's a couple different types of mounting points. And on the back are the reset button and also some LEDs. And then the M12 Ethernet connector also. Initially, we're going to connect the Guardian 300 up to a laptop. This will allow us to play with the Guardian 300 and see its capabilities and also set up the network configuration. The network configuration will be in the next video. Here's a high level picture. We're going to have the Guardian 300 connected to a PoE injector or switch which is connected to the laptop. The two common ways of doing this is to have the G300 accessory kit that you get from Seek and connect that to the Guardian 300. Or you can get a PoE switch and two ethernet cables. For example, in this picture, we have a PoE switch and the yellow cable on the right is a standard CAT5 or 6 cable that connects the laptop to the switch and then a CAT5E or 6E cable with an RJ45 and an M12 end that connects the PoE port on the switch to the G300. Note the M12 cable and the G300 are keyed, and so they, when you screw them in, you get a nice little snap. And we'll finish screwing this in. When connecting to the PoE injector of the G300 accessory kit, the in will be going to your laptop, and in this case it's a yellow cable, and the out is the other end of the cable that's going to the camera. So here's the entire system with my laptop. I'm going to plug in the injector here and you see the power indication light come on. And then the blue power indication on the G300 will come on and then the green network light will come on. By default, the G300 tries to get an IP address via DHCP. Most laptops do not have a DHCP server, so after trying for around 20 seconds, it defaults to the static IP address of 169.254.63.63 and shows up in the seek IP utility that I had previously downloaded from the support page and previously started. I can double click on the camera in the tool now, and this opens the Seek Live View in the browser. I can log on with the username and password of admin and admin. And here's my dog on my sunny back patio. Let's change the palette to Amber and have her come in. For more details about the Seek Live View, please refer to that video. If the IP address does not show up in the Seek IP utility tool, or the Seek Live View does not open the browser, please go to the network configuration video and it has more details on how to fix this.